The recent G10 exhibition at Villa Park attracted a good mix of fabricators and installers, providing business opportunities and an opportunity to network. And the first day in particular drew in substantial numbers. Catherine Dalglish of Swissbacer said that she saw more people in a two hour window than the whole of Wembley exhibition last year. We're doing this in conjunction with, with Vika and uh, really it's a very cost effective way of getting in front of customers. Clearly we're all watching budgets and things at the moment and but the market is what the market is and one has to carry on the sorts of activities that one would under normal conditions and I think that uh, credit to Tony that he's sort of pitched this at a level that is affordable and um, it, it, it proved worthwhile. Well, what we find is it's a, it's a good audience of having uh, fabricators and some of the public as well to come and be aware of some of the new products that we're doing. With it being a new product that's going to be used by key fun or key entry, we find it very important to engage with the customers around and get the feel of the product. Yeah, we've had some good response. We've had a, we've had a good sort of 10 customers that have come on and that like the product and have asked for more information. So for us, it, it, we, we know that we've picked a product that's got to work and um, hopefully with this we'll get it further into the market. I mean, the regulations has been quite a hot topic, as you probably gathered from the, the talk that was going on earlier in the debates. Um, but we've been promoting things like our new consumer leaflet that um, helps to explain to all co companies in the chain about window energy ratings and uh, the, the products that uh, work well and work well within that. One reason for the increased numbers was the decision to hold an on the couch session at the show, which has been made popular by the Glass Talk series of events. Ian Chisholm from the GGF. Justin Ratcliffe from the Council for Aluminium Building, Martin Althorpe from the British Plastics Federation and Richard Lambert of the Wood Window Alliance were there to field questions from the audience about the roles they play. However, the main focus was a feeling by some that the window energy rating scheme is damaging competition, even though the BFRC, which developed the scheme, wasn't properly represented. I came with one sole purpose, which was to see the GGF, and to ask the GGF basically how their system is not working for our industry in relation to being a fair and uh, just system uh, that allows equal competition, allows new products to come into the market and allows everybody to get a fair crack at the window industry. I agree that the window industry should be um, uh, policed is probably too strong a word, but we should have some rules, we should have some format that allows us better companies to sell better products and for those to be identified as better products by some form. And if the BFRC system allows us to do that, then I'm all in favour of it. Where it falls down is, not only is it not looking at new products coming into the marketplace, therefore all simulations that have been done are unfortunately historic and no new products are being introduced and not allowed to be introduced because of cost. Um, once a simulation has been done by a window fabricator who has his A, B and C, what incentive does he have to then trial another product to get an A, B or C, which then offers his window installer or his customer the choice? It doesn't happen. We, the whole industry is now being dictated to by the frame companies as to which product we should use, which glass, which edge sealants, which spacer bar to use. The fact that there are better products on the market, they're not being allowed to be used. More importantly, the window fabricators are now dictating the market by saying, you've got to use what it says in our simulation. Or they're actually blackmailing, and that's a strong word, but I mean it, blackmailing our customers, my customers that I've dealt with for 15 years, to say, no, you can't Jeff, use Jeff sealed unit, you've got to use this configuration of unit, oh, and by the way, you've got to buy it off me as well. So you're saying that you are literally losing business because of the window I can show you my turnover figures. I've lost six accounts within a six week period. So the sealed unit fabricators aren't happy, the, the IG component people aren't happy, i.e. spacer bar sealing people. There is one clause now where they're looking at reducing seal depth to achieve a bit better window energy rating. What is going to happen when we start producing sealed units that don't last the warranty period because they're failing due to insignificant seal being put into the, uh, into the unit, but they'll reach an A? Fantastic. In response, Ian Chisholm of the GGF said that the scheme simply offers a way of measuring compliance and what people do to promote their products can't be controlled by the GGF, BFRC, CLG or anyone else, 
as long as what is sold is delivered. Otherwise, this would be a trading standards authority matter. Ian said that Jeff Hooson was entitled to contribute to the cost of having a product tested with his company's sealed unit. However, the window energy rating is for the whole window. I haven't seen that yet, I have to say. We've been talking to customers. Um, some of them are concerned about what's coming, and I've had a few conversations where some customers have simply stated that they're going to carry on buying their own glass from their own um, local supplier and buy the frames from us unglazed. And we can support them in that. We have a number of customers who do that now. We've also got a number of customers who've said that they don't want the extra admin come October the 1st and they're thinking about buying their glass from us as well as the frame. So I think you'll find the market is pretty much split. I certainly don't think it's stifling competition. Uh, there's please, plenty please. of routes to market without having to buy everything from one, one place. G10 is held next at Belfast on June the 29th and 30th, while Glass Talk returns on May the 27th.